Hey guys, Jay's back. And I wanted to give you guys a little feeding tip for if you have snails, shrimp, crabs, uh, pretty much any aquatic animal that needs a, a higher than normal calcium intake in their food. As you know, crabs and shrimp, they need it for uh, slothing or molting of their shells. Of course, snails need it for shell, shell growth. And I was in here the one day and I took notice to a mass die-off of my mystery snails. And I started getting out my calcium test. And uh, I'm like, okay, wait. There's a lot of mystery snails that are perished, but my trumpet snails are perfectly fine. Like, I'm seeing no empty shells of trumpet snails. Of course, they could be burrowing and, you know, dying under the gravel. But my, my trumpet snail population exploded. I mean, just looking at right there in that moss, you can see probably about 20 of them. So, what I do, and I'll do this when I'm tr really trying to uh, massively breed shrimp uh, and snails is I'll overfeed green beans because they're extremely high in calcium. I usually get the French style green beans, no salt added. Uh, just so it's easier for them to get, you know, to the nice tender, or the nice soft centers. But green beans are naturally high in calcium. And, you know, I took notice that a lot of the snail shells, they were looking like almost white in appearance. They had lines on it, almost like this snail right here. Of course, my camera's not going to focus on it. But you can see the white lines across the shell. And that sh that right there proves to me that they're not getting enough calcium in their diet. So I supplement it with the green beans. And... Well, now I have eggs all over the tank. If you can see up above this water line across the tank, I have a clutch of eggs over there already. And there was none before I started feeding the green beans. But shrimp, crabs also love it. Matter of fact, that's, what I pr that's one of the primary things I feed to my red claw crabs to help them with their molting. And if I go over here and look at that tank, of course, it's going to look blue because I have one of those uh, blue lights up here for at night. But you can see there's a lot of trumpet snails. There's one of the crabs perched up on that rock. Matter of fact, I just saw one of the crabs uh, molting the other day. There's still three in here. I want to get more. Create more nooks and crevices. But the three initial ones... Three of the initial ones I started off with years ago, those are the ones that are still alive. It seems like every single time I get new ones, those ones pass away. So, I've got to figure out a better way of quarantining them before they go into this tank. Because crabs are known to be riddled with parasites. But, like I said, I'm going to try some of these uh, thicker green beans this time. And see how they do with these. I'm only going to put a few in at first. Put a couple over here. A lot of the other fish, they don't really bother with them. Auto, the, also, the autosynclases that are in here and the Faruelas love green beans. So, yeah, I'm just going to drop a few in, see how they do with those. If they do already, I'll finish feeding with this can until I can get some more of the brand that I usually get. And the brand that I usually get, I can get a whole case of it for like three bucks. So, I can't complain with that. But anyway, that's just a little feeding tip up. Oh, Cooley Loach is uh, looking. <gasps> but, I just wanted to give you that little helpful tip on, you know, uh, better calcium intake for your crustaceans and stuff like that. Your invertebrates and whatnot. So, alright, this was Jay, my video, and I'm out. Later on.